Today I am going to repair this crock pot. This crock pot, brand new, was only about 70 to 75 dollars. And although you can purchase a myriad of replacement parts for this, of course the one part that you cannot purchase is going to be the one part that is always going to fail on modern day appliances, which is of course the circuit boards. These circuit boards are how manufacturers can provide you the most apparent feeling of value because you have this fancy display that's a digital readout and all this interactions and stuff. However, these are super, super cheap as compared to the rest of the manufacturing processes. So in this particular case, I know for a fact that this capacitor, this little guy that happened to be right here on this board is bad. How can you tell that it's bad? Well, step one is to take the whole thing apart. If you look very closely at it, you can see that the bottom has bulged out. Normally, capacitors will fail by having the top bulge out. In this case, it looks a little bulged out, but it's a little difficult to actually tell whether or not it has failed. In that instance, we can hook up our handy dandy multimeter. In order to test this capacitor, we're going to hook it up to a multimeter and we're going to test each of the individual leads and read what it says on the screen. This particular one, as you can see, is reading a big number that it looks like 2,000 microfarads. Now, that would be fine if this was rated at 2,000 microfarads. Unfortunately, it's not. If we look very closely at it, it is 1,000 microfarads. Now this is a 10 volt capacitor. So that tiny little part, we are going to replace that with a 1,000 microfarad capacitor that I simply purchased off of eBay. I got like a five pack of them for $5. This one is rated at a 25 volt rating. So this will last much longer. It's slightly larger, but that's okay because we've got plenty of room on the board. All we're gonna need to do is cut away the old one, desolder from the board on the PCB right there, and then solder in the new leads, and then we will be good. So let's get to work. New capacitor soldered into place. All right. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Now soldered onto the board. Again, it's the same value capacitance. It's just a different voltage rating and it's a higher voltage rating, so it's just more durable. So that's a good thing. Let's get it put back together. And just like that, we are fully operational. Low, high, keep warm. We got the volume. The <laughs> volume, that's not a volume, you silly goose. Point is, is that the thing works, okay? It was only 75 bucks, but this throwaway culture attitude and mentality really upsets me that we've got this and all of the cookware and that lid and that glass and all of the accessories, all of this nonsense would have been thrown away if it wasn't for a $3.45 shipped to me, pack of capacitors, five of them. So I can fix five of these crock pots for under $4. Please guys, if you have a digital display on your crock pot and you plug it in one day and it does absolutely nothing, by all means, do this repair. Please, oh please, save yourself some money. That was super quick and easy. Taking it apart, it practically falls apart once you remove those screws. You just watched me put it back together in under 10 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a wonderful day and be good to each other. Thank you, bye.